Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a reverse proxy. Now, what this lets you do is it lets you connect your domain to a Dynemap or a site which is hosted by your Minecraft server. So instead of having to use a load of numbers, you can simply just use your own domain. This makes it way easier to remember and also looks a lot better. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we want to go to the left, open the tools menu, and then go into reverse proxy. Once we're in here, we then need to follow step one. So step one, first we need to go to our DNS. For this, I'll be using Cloudflare. So now we need to make a subdomain. So let's say you wanted map in front of your domain. So it'd be map dot your domain. What we need to do is if we go to our DNS, we then need to click add a record. We then want to make sure the type is A. We then want to call it map or whatever you want to have at the start. And then for the IPv4 address, you want to copy your server's IP. So actually on the reverse proxy tab, you can copy it from right here. This will be customized to your own IP. So now if we paste it in the IPv4 address, there we go. And we want to make sure the proxy status is on DNS only. Once we've done that, we can then click save. So now we have our DNS record. Then we need to go to step two, which says, please tell us the full domain you would like to use. So my full domain would be map.strangestan.xyz. And if you have done it correctly, it should say configured correctly to the right. Then you want to choose the port, which mine's automatically selected my Dynemap port, and then click save. And now let's open a new tab. We'll then put in our new domain. And now, as you can see, we have loaded into our Dynemap. And the domain we are using is map.strangestan.xyz. Now, bear in mind, this won't happen instantly. It will take a few minutes after you click save. So if you do see the screen that says this server is powered by Pebblehost, it means that it hasn't done processing yet. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.